fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to see Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, good thing you lose in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Out of range with that one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice right hand. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Kick to the body by Lee. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, that's a nice strike. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Nice kick. Come on, push through it. Trying to establish that jab once again. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Right punches there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off of him by blocking all these attacks. Nice punch here. Keep your hands moving. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, 
that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, big head kick. Try to establish that jab. He is all about that left kick to the body. Beautiful body kick. I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Oh, nice jab. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. What a body kick. Counters with a left. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Wow. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. More baller than this. Big kick. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now. So certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Now listen, you probably lost that round. I need you to be first. Let's get that head movement and start popping that jab and start setting up. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good stick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Head kick. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just missed with the left there. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Went for the inside leg kick. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes to go now. 
Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. And he landed the right hand there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? How good is that right hand? Jab snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Straight punch lands. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Real quick leg kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I will. mean, those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That strike will count. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, huge head kick. Look 
at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Blocks that kick to the body. Nice. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Liver kick. Cable inches right there, Down boy. Down. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice straight punch. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice punch, man. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big body kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice head kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Right hand upstairs. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there, really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab, that's one that's really knocking the head back. Nice leg kick. Nice. Oh, combination lands, and it seems like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Nice loop and punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind him real well. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. That's three, three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. You see the cut just above the eye from that round. So the cut man's got to get in here, close that thing up. You don't want it becoming an issue here into this next round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Big head kick land. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. What a punch. Oh, head kick lands and with style points. Well done. Nice body kick. 
right on the button. Big kick. Real nice body kick land. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big leg kick land. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Big power shot there. Lee's kick is blocked. You don't know when that leg is coming. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Big body kick. Watch knees to the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, he's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Good punch. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Sneaky head kick. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Caught that kick there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the oh, Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Got clip with the right hand. That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Beautiful strike. Lands the right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Went for the inside leg kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. And they separate. Unable to land with that. To the body. This could be the NDC. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really 
taking a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going to the next one. A big head kick. Nice kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Ooh, big shot land. Body kick now by Lee. Oh, big Superman punch there. Head kick lands. Just misses there with the left. Look at the turtle in that kick. All right, well, fatigue is certainly a factor here down the stretch. He is losing the fight. He is completely out of gas. I mean, he's been outclassed. He's taken so much damage. He threw everything he could to try to survive, but now he's completely out of air, and it's only a matter of time. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, nice. Spinning back fist is there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. That was lightning fast, that right in. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Head kick. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm gonna take one to give one. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Relax, relax, keep your hands up for now. Came of inches right there, boy, wow. It was a good night if that landed. Two minutes now to go on this one. Clipped him with the right hand there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Nice punch lands over the top. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Superman punch now. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more. Right there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Ooh, what a head kick. Nice leg kick land. Back and forth we go. Campbell inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Unable to connect with the right hand there. 15 seconds remain in the round. Final 10 seconds of the fight. What else can you say but what a fight?
All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!